time where you just leave your kids outside playing and no one's watching over them. Kids aren't doing anything wrong, but unfortunately there's individuals out there that will cause harm. And we begin our top story in Rockford's south side where investigators are putting the pieces together after an unthinkable crime took place over the weekend. A 10 year old girl found dead after playing outside with her younger sister kidnapped and murdered and the suspect a registered sex offender. This is the neighborhood where it all happened along 9th Avenue on Rockford's south side between 11th Street and Kishwaukee. And this on your screen now is the man police say is responsible. His name, Antonio Monroe. At this hour, he's facing a long list of charges, including first degree murder and kidnapping. Now, emotions are running high from neighbors to city leaders who are heartbroken by this tragedy. This morning, we're continuing to learn more about that investigation as well as the questions police still have. Our 13 WRX Dylan Valencia joins us outside of police headquarters this morning. Dylan, how is the community responding to all of this? Manny, well, many waking up in our community today just in disbelief and shock that something like this, something as horrifying like this can happen to a 10-year-old girl in our community. It's something that sounds like it's coming straight from a movie. And for a lot of people in our community, this is a nightmare that a lot of people cannot believe is a reality. This is truly a, a real-life nightmare. And honestly, it's probably worse than any nightmare or situation I could think of uh, on my own. I think this is, again, just a real-life nightmare with a real-life monster. We, as a community, uh, will be doing a deep dive uh, to find out how the hell this man and monster uh, came into our community and find out every single thing that we can about this individual. As you can see there, Mayor Tom McNamara, clearly very emotional. And police say that on Saturday afternoon, a six-year-old girl went to her mother and said that a man had taken her older 10-year-old sister. And the suspect in question is not from this area, coming from Blue Island, Illinois, a registered sex offender for an incident that took place in 2010. And investigators are still trying to figure out why he even came to our area and why someone would allegedly commit this heinous crime. One community pastor from Living Faith Tabernacle, a church just two minutes away from where the incident took place, is shocked, believing that this is a time to come together as a community. No child, no person should lose their life. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's very, very... Uh, sad, but that does not represent us as a community. Um, young people uh, should grow up and outlive their parents. Incredibly heartbreaking. I think anyone just hearing this news and hearing that this is happening here in Rockford, it's incredibly unbelievable. Um, but right now, the latest information we have right now, the official cause of death is still unknown. However, the, the suspect in question is being treated at a nearby hospital. And once he is released, he will be then transferred to the custody at Winnebago County Jail. As always, we will continue to keep you updated on air and online on our website, WREX.com. For now in Rockford, I'm Dylan Valencia with 13WREX.